Boy, an amazing journey is coming to an end for a Mainer in space. Yeah, astronaut Chris Cassidy has been on the International Space Station now for the past five months and is preparing now to come back home. CBS 13's Kim Block talked with Cassidy on board the ISS today. She joins us now with that story. What a story it is, Kim. Well, Greg, you're right, and Adrian as well. What a thrilling opportunity this voyage has been for Cassidy, and what a treat to be able to conduct a satellite interview with him this morning. Now, we spoke with him just after he arrived on the ISS, and today we checked back in as he prepares to leave. Houston, this is a space station ready for the event. WGME TV, this is Mission Control Houston. Please call station for a voice check. Station, this is WGME TV. How do you hear me? Loud and clear. Welcome aboard to the space station. Great to be with you again. And it was great and pretty amazing to talk again with Maynard Chris Cassidy as he prepares to leave the ISS next Tuesday. The past five months have literally flown by. Uh, I'll be really sad to leave next week. This is an incredible, an incredible experience. This place is an amazing laboratory. But by the same token, I'm ready to go. It's time for somebody else, to, some other people to come and, and do their thing and have their opportunity. And I'm really excited to go back and see my friends and family. Many of those people are in Maine. A graduate of York High School, Cassidy has worked hard to stay connected with people here while in space, even taking part in his hometown road race. Until just recently, I've been the only astronaut for Maine, and, uh, and that's a great deal of pride for me to, to represent our state in the manned space program. And, and it's something that I think is fun to try to connect back with the folks uh, there, because I'm just a regular Maine guy, just like everybody else. I hope I'm just fortunate enough to be up here and be talking to you on this side of the camera. While he may be a regular guy, his job is anything but. While on the ISS, Cassidy took part in a spacewalk. You may recall one of his fellow astronauts experienced some water leakage in his helmet that made things a bit dicey. But as we're doing this troubleshooting, you could literally see, as I, I'm looking like three feet away from Lucas' helmet, it could see the water kind of creeping around the side. And that's when we knew that it wasn't right and it was time to head back in. It cut the spacewalk short, but everyone is safe. And Cassidy took part in numerous groundbreaking experiments in space. It's a voyage he'll never forget. So are you going to miss that view? Oh, it's hard not to miss that view, but fortunately I have it ingrained in my head and I've got some wonderful pictures uh, as, as keepsakes, uh, but really, really is a fantastic view. And now it's time to pack to head home. And that's what I'm trying to do right now, making sure I'm not forgetting anything uh, like, my, uh, like my main lobster uh, right here. I want to pack, make sure I have everything all packed up. It's nice and secure for the flight home. <laughs> Cassidy and two other crew members will undock from the space station next Tuesday night and are scheduled to land in Kazakhstan around 11 o'clock Eastern Time. We wish them all a safe voyage home. And if you'd like to hear the entire interview, including Cassidy's description of that gripping walk in space, just head to the raw news section of WGME.com. Greg and Adrian, back to you.